Okay, first step is remove the side panels. Okay, now we want to put it on the side very carefully. And now we want to remove the cooler, which isn't too hard to do. Oops. Cable management. Mmm, that's quite crusty that thermal grease. So I'm going to take the CPU out, clean it. There's a CPU there, sort of like the old Intel style ones. Okay. <laughs> Here's the old plate. Okay, so it's finally got it sorted. You've got to put two strips on that, and then you've got to push the metal pieces through, and they'll slip into that hole there. And what I need to do is put this on the back plate, and then I can screw it in. Feel it all the way on the other side of the room. That is cold. But that's pretty quiet on, on low. There's a pretty cool setting here that allows you to change the colour of the LED in there. So here you have red, green and blue and you can turn them up so you can turn the 
that one right up and it'll give you that sort of a colour. And I can change it here if I want, so if I just want red, turn green right down. Turn blue right down. Then we want to crank up red. We want to add a bit of green to it. We want to add a bit of blue too. A bit more green. It's pretty cool what you can do. And yeah, it's all adjustable by this. I just want green at the moment. Because green looks cool. I've also got my red LEDs up there anyway. But yeah, looks really cool, runs cold. Now let's just put the sides back on and we'll do the benchmarking. Okay, I've got it installed and I've got it running. It's running at a, at a low temperature of about 30 degrees. Compare that to the water, liquid temperature, which is 33 degrees. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go through and customise all the, uh, the uh, fan speed to temperature ratio. So, I hope you enjoyed that and it was a difficult one to put in the computer but after I've done it, it's pretty cool. And I'm just going to leave you with the results compared to the stock cooler. Oh, 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 oh,